Are you looking for an easier way to organize and share resources with your teachers and school staff? Well, let me show you how with JotForm Enterprise. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you're looking for an easy way to organize and store and share resources with your teachers and your school staff, you can absolutely do that with JotForm Enterprise with apps. Now, the best thing about this is they are no code. They are very simple to build, just drag and drop functionality, and you can easily have a personal development app for your school. So as you can see right now, I'm currently in the desktop version of my team workspace. And as of right now, under type, I currently only have my apps chosen. So you can see we already have a couple made, but we don't have one for our school staff. So it's very simple to make top left hand corner. We can come up here to create and we can choose app. Now, if you want, we can absolutely start from scratch. Again, very simple drag drop functionality. But if you're not sure how you want this to look, we can absolutely use a template to get those creative juices flowing. So over on the left hand side, we can see we have education as a category. So we can take a scroll through here and see if there's already a school one set up. We can see the parent, we see classroom assignments, but I think I'm going to use this school management app. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the live preview. And the first thing I want to showcase is the app designer. We can make this fit our district or our school's branding. So let's say that I don't want that chalk looking background. Um, and then the header is something separate. Right now we're just working on this section right here. So let's say that our colors are red. So I'm gonna choose it to be a red background. Perfect. And again, if you have an image that you'd like to use, you can absolutely do that. If you wanna change the font family or the color, we can do that as well. But let's go ahead and click up here. If we want, we can turn off the entire header altogether. But I'm gonna go ahead and add that back. Let's look at this logo. I'm gonna remove this image and I'm gonna drag and drop in one from my desktop. Perfect, we have that wildcat. And we can even change that logo size if we want. Um, if we want, come over to style. We can remove that chalk background and it's gonna make it fit the rest and we want this to be in the center. Perfect. Now if we come back over here to general, we can change what that title is. We can change what the description looks like from here. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Over on the left-hand side, if we choose to add an element, you can see all the different options that you can drag and drop in. So we can pull in forms. So maybe forms for feedback and reviews, signups for workshops, mentoring sessions, or professional learning communities. We can also add in headlines and just rich text, which is gonna look similar to this right here. We wanna add in cards, maybe sign documents, links, documents, images, buttons. We can also add in a product list. So if you're needing your teachers or your school staff to purchase something, maybe you're offering shirts, you can add in a product list with your shirts there. We can also add in an image gallery, easily just drag and drop in. Perfect, and we can see we can upload our images here. We can also add in a map. Maybe we're having a training somewhere. We want people to know where they need to go. You can add in a map to that. If you have social accounts you'd like your teachers to follow, you can add those in. Maybe some testimonials. And you can even showcase data that you're collecting. So forms that they're filling out, you can easily add in a table so the teachers can view in real time how others are filling out the forms or voting for specific things. Next, let's go up to the widget setting. If you want, you can embed calendars so that way your teachers never miss a date. We can even add in specific things like social media and things to make your app fun. Now, in order to share this, it's very simple. Up in the top, let's first jump over to settings. This is where we can enable or disable our app. We can also customize the app name and icon. So we can see right here, we have that wildcat. If we wanna change it, maybe put the name of the school here, we can do that. The splash screen, I'm gonna go ahead and customize this because we want this to be our school color. So let's go ahead and make it red. Perfect. And we can also send push notifications from the settings option. Now, once your users, your teachers and your staff access this app, it's gonna ask them, hey, do you want this to be on your home screen? If they say yes and they accept the permission request, 
you can then send push notifications like, hey, we just added this form or hey, we just added new shirts, go check it out. But let's jump over to the publish tab. So from here, we can easily change the settings. As of right now, just public access. If we want it to be private access, which will be just the people that we send it to, or maybe just company access, maybe those who only have your .edu address, you can do that here. We can copy the link and we can send through the appropriate channels. We can invite by email and we can even share in social spaces. Now, if you have a website, you can also easily copy this code to embed as well. But it is as simple as that. This is an easy way to support your teachers by connecting them to the resources that they need as well as each other. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to build your own professional development app for your teachers and your staff, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.